The arrowhead stitch when you're working it on the front actually looks a lot like a zigzag. I am working it between two lines for these purposes. I find it easier for me to keep it even if I work it all at once. So I'm going to come up in one corner, go down or one on one line, go down at an angle into the other, then come up. Now well, it's probably easier just to watch it than to hear me talk. I'm just alternating where I want my stitch to begin and end. Okay, so that's just doing it all at once. Um, you can do a whole row of them if you want to, and I found I had a harder time keeping them even this way. Going doing all your slanted stitches one direction. And then coming back the other way, we're going down in the same hole where we came up. So so that's another option. The stitch can also be worked as a filler stitch. So just stacking them on top of each other. So I'm doing a diamond like is on the pattern page. It wouldn't have to be a diamond. It could be a square. It could be whatever shape you want to fill with it. So it's just straight stitches connecting. And mine are starting to get a little wonky, so guidelines do help. to stop with this stitch because I'm running out of thread. So there it is all connecting to make a larger section that's kind of a diamond honeycomb.